okay student so here i am with another topic of information theory and coding the topic is bch code it is a new chapter so the topic which we will discuss today will be about the basic bch code properties of bch code generator polynomial that means how a generator polynomial will be created the degree of bch code and lastly i will show you an example of what type of problem may come in your exam for this chapter so first what about a bch code first you should know the full form of bch is bose choudhury and hockenman code bch codes are the subset of cyclic code whose generator polynomials have roots carefully specified so as to give good error correcting capability so we can say bch code is better than linear or cyclic code in this case where it can correct more number of error occur in the code than linear or cyclic code before telling the parameter or properties of bch code we should remember the following important points each bch code has a t error correcting code in that it can detect and correct up to t random errors per code next will come properties of bch code so first what are what is the block length of any bch code the formula for block length calculation is n equals to 2 to the power m minus 1 where m should be greater than or equal to 3 and m is an any positive integer generally the value of m should be taken greater than or equal to 3 next number of message bit where n is the block length m is the integer which we are used here and t is the error which i specified in our previous slide that is the number of error which a bch code can detect and correct third one minimum distance that is d min the formula for minimum distance is 2t plus 1 next how we create generator polynomial likewise cyclic code bch code has also generator polynomial which is used to detect and correct error along with it detect the block length and information bit length present in the code so the generator polynomial from the bch code can be calculated as gx equals to lcm of m1x m2x up to m2 2tx so if we say a bch code can correct up to double error then gx will be lcm of m1 x m2 x m3 x and m4 x why because t equals to here 2 as it is double error correcting code so m2 t x equals to m4 x therefore we should consider m1 m2 m3 and m4 this m1 or mx is the minimum polynomial or minimal poly polynomial which i uh, discussed in the gulva field section remember it and then uh, i should tell you that what could i do with this minimum polynomial next what are the degree of bch code degree of n comma k bch code is denoted by r equals to n minus k where n is Two to the power m minus one is known to you. R equals to 
therefore r equals to 2 to the power m minus 1 minus k. We put the formula here and we get this. And from this, k equals to 2 to the power m minus 1 minus r. This formula is important for calculation of k. You remember the formula. Next, now we are solving here a simple example of VCH code. Construct a triple error correcting VCH code with block length 31 over GF to the power 5. Uh, remember that if GF, if the group or Galva field is not represent here in your problem, then you should consider the block length. For example, if the block length is 31, it should be over GF to the power 5. If it 15, then it should be 2 to the power 4. And if it should be uh, 2 to the power 3, if the block length is 7. Likewise, construct you uh, the, you can construct the problem. So, here T equals to 3 because it is triple error correcting code. So, T equals to 3. So, GX will be LCM of M1X, M2X, M3X, M4X, M5X and M6X. We uh, already tell you that, I already tell you that M1X is minimum, polynomia, uh, minimum polynomial of alpha and its complex conjugates over GF to the power 5. That means M1X is the first field element of the GF to the power 5 which is alpha. So, alpha and its com complex conjugates which create a minimal polynomial. This polynomial is represents by M1X. So, here M1X equals to x to the power 5 plus x square plus 1. Uh, you can, uh, if you uh, write or if you solve the uh, complex conjugate of alpha over gf to the power 5, you can get this. The process I already told you in our previous class. Now, you have two options. Uh, remember the M1x and automatically the other term will be eventually calculated. You don't need to um, or you don't need to remember the other mi minimum polynomial that is M2x, M3x, M4x, M5x and M3x. Or you can solve the total uh, minimal polynomial for each group element of GF to the power 5. But it is very lengthy process. So, you need, you need to remember only M1x and the other term you can easily calculate it by the process. So now see M1x is already given to you or you have to remember it or you can solve it the first one. Then M2x x is M1x. M3x is x to the power 5 plus x is 4 plus x, x is q plus x is square plus 1. Note that in M3x, the x, uh, the alpha to the power term is to be written, which is not present in M1x. Before the x square term along with the term present in M1x. That means here, x to the, in M1x, x to the power 4 and x is q is not there. Therefore, we add x to the power 4 and x is q. And it should be before x square. That's why I cannot x, uh, include here x. So, M3x is x to the power 5, x to the power 4, x is q plus x square plus 1. Again, M4x equals to M3x. Likewise, M5x is the term which is not present in M3x is also included here. That is x to the power 5 plus x to the power 4 plus x is cubed plus x is square plus x plus 1. That means the term which is not present in M3x should be written here and the along with the other term which is already expressed in the M3x. Again M6x equals to M5x. 
So as it is gx equals to mc uh, lcm of of the all uh, minimal polynomial. So we have to given only m1x, m3x, and m5x. Other terms are redundant. After multiplying the whole term, we get gx equals to this. If you multiply, you can see the uh, polynomial is done. So if the polynomial is given, generator polynomial is given to you, then you can, uh, and if you know the message bit, you can um, calculate the information or the um, encoded bit. That means the BCH code. So now you have to calculate the information bit. So for generator polynomial GX, in BCH code will be 31 comma K, where K you have to calculate. For calculating K, we should consider the formula K equals to N minus MT. Which, will be, which was discussed in our previous slide. As n equals to 31 and t equals to 3, we don't know m. So, we should calculate m. Again, n equals to 2 to the power m minus 1. So, from this, you can calculate m equals to 5. Put the value of all factor, that is n equals to 31 and that means it is 2 to the power m equals to 32 and m equals to 5. So, we easily calculate if uh, we know m, then we can calculate k, which is here 31 minus 5 into 3, that is 16. So, it is a 31, 6, 16 triple error correcting BCH code. This is the process. So, by which you can calculate the BCH code. Uh, of T error correcting. Thank you. I have given you uh, or I will give you a problem in this context after seeing this video. So uh, learn or hear it carefully and if you have any doubt please contact me or tell me in your group. Thank you.